And today, as you saw in the clip before, is the uses of grooming tools. Or grooming uses. Well, I'm going to show you in uh, groups right over here. I have like all my grooming stuff in groups that I'm going to show you. So, probably the first thing that you're going to learn about. Well, first of all, I want to ask you. Are you new to horses? Well, grooming, this will give you the ultimate guide to what stuff is. I may not have everything, but I'm a really good groomer. I literally practice on Dan and Twister to be a groom one day. So. This is a hard bristle brush. It's used for getting out dirt that was loosened up by another tool that I will talk about. And these hard bristles do not move too easily, so it goes right in the fur, and you just take takes the dirt right out, especially. When they have uh, close bristles, that is really not gonna go sideways as much. I'm putting all force into that, and it's not even going to be. So, so this is a really good brush. I recommend Oscar too, but I also like Decker and Tough One. I put these away while. Oops. My ribbons came into this, this screen. Put some stuff away as I do it. Okay, so this is a finishing brush. It has really, really soft bristles. As you can see, unlike the other one, I can literally flatten it. It's uh, used for making their coats shinier and still wet from a cleaning, but it's a very good brush to use before shows and a grooming day, which I do have. Uh, so, yeah. It's a good thing to use when you're going to shows and stuff. This is still wet, but it's a, um, face brush. It's really, really soft, especially when it's dry, and when you put your palm like this, like, don't do this, just put your palm like this, and you'll see how dry it is, like, um, soft it is. My, my, uh, sh the horse I show on, he's not mine, but, um, he really likes this, he closes his eyes and goes, he really likes it. <laughs> well, next I'm going to the curries. So as I said with the hard bristle brush, this is a uh, tool that I used before that to get all dirt out of the um, coat. I do this and this. If it, my horse is really dirty, I do this. If they're not too dirty, I just do this. That's the way I do it. Um, you use this first. When you first start grooming your coat, this is what you want to use. So, next is a fine curry. This is a uh, foster, as you can tell, because it says that. Um, it's fine. Because it has smaller ones, and that makes the coat more fine. And it's pretty much like a finishing curry. And Twister really likes this one, because she takes it as a massaging curry. Yeah, I use it for a massager. Not really as for what it's used for. This is a um, 
well, I think it's a dog thing, but whoever had it before, because this is from a, uh, this is like second hand, I guess. Uh, the person before, I think this might be a dog one, but they used it for a co coarse curry. I use it for a coarse curry. It's, I use it for like massaging, I would say. Because I use a, Twister really likes this one too. So she's a fan of my curries. It's also used for grooming purposes. Some of my grooming purposes for them is just getting extra hairs out. So, next. Um, this is a metal curry, I think. But I use at uh, my uncle's place. We uh, use it for their mane because they're like really. <laughs> they grow their mane really fast, and I actually thin uh, Twister's mane once. And after that happened, um, she grew it back completely the next week. So, my horse's mane tails, mane grows really fat, but her tail doesn't at all. But this is really nice. Okay. So. Next is my favorite hoof pick that has a brush. Some of them don't have brushes, but this is a combined one. Uh, some people use uh, like a separate hoof brush, but I, I like using this one because it has everything I need. Um, I just hold the horse's hoof and do this. Brush out all the extra dirt. And there you go, you got a clean hoof. And there is something else for hooves in this video, so pay attention to that. Goes in this bag. Okay, so next is this. This is a uh, shedding blade. Uh, usually, you just take off extra hairs with this, especially when it's shedding season. Um, I usually use this a lot when it's shedding season. Uh, that's just past, I think. So, like, for my horses, it just, like, my horse, um, she didn't, she isn't, like, doing it as much, so I'm not using these now, but, like, in the beginning, after, like, winter, you're gonna have a fun time with this thing. I wouldn't use it during winter, because I gotta keep them warm. Uh, this is a sweat scraper. There's two versions of the sweat scraper. There's this one, and there's a, a flat um, rubber or metal or any piece, and you put it across, or like this, wrong way, <laughs> this way. It scrapes off sweat, but I mainly use it for scraping off water, uh, especially after a uh, bath. I use a sweat scraper. So, these are my, uh, main, this is right here, and this is the tail brush, uh, I usually use them, like, not, they're like grooming day stuff, I don't usually do this every, like, time, I usually use this one every time, but I don't use the tail one every time, so, yeah. These ones are pretty good. They go through pretty nice after you thin the mane. So. Okay. Next is a grooming block. Uh, these, these are always used for different things. Some people use them as, like, taking off fur. I use these for taking off bots. Because bots are really annoying for grass-kept horses, 
and feet scrapes on Twister, and she, they're all gone. <laughs> Not a feet scrape, she, she has a million on them, on her. Okay, so this is my equine do more fly spray. Uh, I think you could tell, but I'm just gonna tell you about the quality. The quality is very nice on this thing. Um, it actually kills bots sometimes. It doesn't really kill them. I've tried it. Maybe it takes them away. Maybe they do die. I don't know. But it still keeps away uh, flies. All types of flies. Really, really good. So I'd recommend do more. Here's the label. So it's not like the flies are going away, so I'm not going to use this and have it in my main kit so far. So I'm just going to keep it in my grooming day box. This I like to keep with me at all times. This is Rainmaker. It uh, puts the right moisturization in their hose and heals cracks. I use Rainmaker because it's actually really good, but there's also different things. It has a, it's yellow, and it says hook dressing on it, and it has like a big one with a uh, hook on the side. So that's also a good one. It also heals, but I use this one because I, I heard it was a little bit better. Just in my mind, it works really good because they're grass kept, so Rainmaker would be good for them. Okay, so this is my mini coat. Hold on a minute. Okay, sorry about that. This is a Man and Coke shampoo, as it says. I do not have a conditioner, but this, I don't know if it's good or not, but I know Do More is really, really good. So, I recommend Do More, because I usually use that stuff for, like, liquids and stuff. I am going to look for a conditioner one day, and then I'll recommend that. So... I wouldn't actually bathe them until it's like hot again, like summer. That's when they'll be most dirty, especially grass kept horses. Cause uh, <laughs> they'll be rolling around in the mud all, long, all the year long. So this will be coming in handy first day of summer next year. <laughs> I'm telling you that one right now. Well, that is my grooming kit and their uses. So if you like, I'm hugging my foot, wow. If you like this video and you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I would love to have a few subscribers. Um, I'll be very happy. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed and... And bye.